Hey shooters, Adam from Atlas Gunworks. Um, we're going to talk about gram springs and setting the springs up today. And every time you change your spring, you've got to do this procedure we're about to look at. So, um, this is a gram spring and follower FKS 11 uh, kit inside of a brand new STI 40 tube. The nice new tubes. Haven't seen the 9s yet, but the 40s look like they're going to work the way they're supposed to. It's definitely an improvement. Um, it's going to put them at the top, maybe at the very top of the list. They, these might be the best tubes now. I, we've got to shoot them a bunch to know. It's early uh, March 17, but there's the kit. Comes out of the package. The only thing that I have to do to tune these is it has a spot here that will catch the, um, the slide stop. So we cut that out. It's super hard to make those work and unreliable. So if you're a competitive guy and you want the slide stop to work, good luck. You're going to give up some rounds and it's ne just never, never, it's never, I've never been able to do it where you consistently go through a whole season or two where you're getting them to lock. So learn how to count the rounds and quit on that. That's, that's my advice there. But anyway, take that and I just, I do that with a Dremel or on a wheel, but you just take that front corner out. Other than that, you stick it in here. Now, the STI tubes, you'll see witness hole mark up to 18. 18 is that one. <clears throat> We're going to look when um, when we get all the rounds in here. but And I think we're going to get 21 in this one just about. This hole I had to make, and you've got to use a really hard drill bit because these things are, um, and then once you do, you got to clean out the inside. But just in case you want to make your witness hole, that's uh, just under an eighth inch size hole. I, these are eighth, so run one eighth there. But that's... 0.545 from the bottom. So take your calipers, just run, hold them at, lock them in at 545, put a little dot there, and that's where you put your hole. I know some of you guys, that'll save you from having a bad hole in your... So, spring goes in. Now these springs are not ready to go out of the gate. They gotta get set, and it's really quick and easy. It's as simple as loading the bag. I got 20 going here. There's my there's my bonus round. So um, the old STI tubes hold 20. The SV tubes hold 20, sometimes 21. I think these are going to be 20, sometimes 21, without causing any damage. But what we're going to do is we're going to load the mag. And we're going to keep an eye on a couple things. I want the bullets to be stacked up just like this. Okay. When they start to have a big spread, that's a problem. So I'm going to watch that as I load them. You know, it's starting to get a little spread. So when it does that, I'm just going to push it down and kind of get everything seating the way it's supposed to. The trick to this, see that gap in there? That's not going to be good. So once I, um, and it's already do, it's doing it now. So I'm going to max load it, and that should get rid of that gap. Sometimes in the middle here, you'll see, on the, especially on the first one, I'll push that to get them to stack up the way we want left and right. Now, um, some of the, the mag guys, though, the old time mag guys will tell you you got to run a thing and always, you know, the, I don't even know what they're called, the, the Lapua loaders or whatever, you got to push them. And it does, it'll stack better that way. But you'll see me when I load a mag, I'm, a lot of times I'm doing this, but I don't, with 40 cal in particular, I don't get really picky about it. The nines are a little more, um, it's a little more of a big deal with it, or a little more helpful, I should say, with the nines. But let's keep loading here. Still got a gap there. So I push on it, that gap gets better. So I'm going to go all the way to 20. Now, keep pushing that down. It's looking better. Now if I unload this, it should, it should have set that spring and we should be good. It should be that simple. But we're all greedy, right? Everybody says don't be greedy, but we're all greedy. There's 21. Now, if you drill this hole at 545, you'll get the rim of the case at 20. And hopefully, with some luck, you'll get the primer at 21. Now, this one's way tighter than the last one I did. But there's the primer at 21 on the bottom, so that worked. See if you can see that. That's not easy to see, but you could see the primer instead of the, the primer edge. So there's 21. Could you start? And we don't really love that gap there, but see, this is not too bad. And then as you get those two out, 
it's looking pretty good. So, so that should be set now. It should it should load a little different this time than the than the last time. So let's just go back up through. See what the See like look at those two. That's perfect. Just sitting right on top of each other. A little gap in there is not terrible, but it can't be, and the nose needs to be up on that second round. That's what we're looking for. So I'm, I'm guessing with the these STI mags, 20, 20 reloadable is going to be pretty real. You you'll have you'll always have one or two out of a set probably that'll get 21 um, start. You know, 21 plus one start. But when you run these at the limit, or even putting that extra round in, you kill the springs a lot quicker. So again, we got our 20 in here. There's a little gap here. I mean, I don't... They're touching, though. But if you kind of push on it and get it to come back up... See, that gap's better. That nose is up on this bullet. So I would say that this mag's ready to go, or at least get tested at 20. And whether it'll ever take the 21... And be like crazy reliable. I mean, you are right at the limit there. You're probably doing more damage than. I mean, see how it's floating a little bit because it's pinched and it's so tight it's pinched. Um, you know, I don't know. I the, the better you get at reloading, the less you care about that extra round. I haven't cared for a while at the plus one. You know, getting twenty one, but um. There it is. That's the deal. And then you got a Grams follower in there and spring, and it should be ready to go. The nice part about the Gram springs over um, some of the other ones out there, and the, the Grams followers are tougher. They last a lot longer. They tend to not roll over, so they're it's a better follower. The springs last a lot longer, almost double. Um, so the, our previous brand that we were um, working with. The springs lasted three or four months. These probably last six, eight months, and they give you more pressure the whole time. They're just a lot more stout, and they're cheaper. So, I mean, your biggest expense in one of these tubes, if you do it right, you know, everybody's like, "Oh, a mag costs over a hundred bucks." Well, you know, you're gonna jam. I mean, at this rate, with uh, some of the other brands, you might jam forty dollars a year in springs in them. So, you know, the real cost is, is the fuel, maybe even more than the, than the car itself, if you look at it like that. So, um, if I could cut my, my, you know, if I could put half as many springs at 70% uh, of, the, of the price, um, that might be worth it. That's, that's certainly something we're looking hard at. But that's how you set up your Graham Spring and Follower kits. <clears throat> and then make sure that you test them a whole bunch before you go out and use them in a match. I know you guys like to go to a match with a brand new gun and brand new mags, but um, th these are not automobiles. <laughs> the brand new is not better. Um, tested is good. So there's the new STI 40 cal set up with a Grams follower. See you guys on the range soon.